Looking like that defense had the best of that first half, and then the offense was able to turn around there. Did you like what you saw today? Yeah, definitely. It was, it was a good battle back and forth. Um, I like the the creativity from the offense in regards to our play action pass game, some of the things they did to, to create different moving pieces for our defense's eyes. On defense, we have to play consistently harder. Uh, that, that's one thing we've been pushing on in camp. You know, obviously there were some guys that were playing, some weren't that will be in our starting defense, but it was a good day for the young guys to get in and get some action. Uh, again, everybody's come a long way in camp. Obviously, as you can tell from everybody hooping and hollering around you, they're pretty excited to kind of get a day off their feet and, and catch their breath a little bit. So obviously at halftime, you were kind of trying to light a fire into those guys on the defense. How do you balance, though, the progress you see from the defense and yet the progress you want to see from your offense since we were still in the midst of a quarterback battle? Yeah, that, that's definitely one of the most challenging parts as the head coach. And you have to understand that sometimes offense is going to have a good play. Now, my heart's with defense, and we have to be a deep, good defensive football team in this league. Defense helps you win games. we got to be able to stop people. Uh, yeah, at halftime, we needed a little bit of an adjustment, um, and it was good for me to be able to step in and do that because the nice thing about defense, and we always talk about the continuity, they've heard the same voices. They understand when it's time to go out there and meet up, it means business, and it's time to, to make an adjustment. Are we still in the midst of a quarterback battle? Yes. Okay. So what would you like from both of your guys today? I like the way they ran the huddles. Um, you saw some good competitive spirit from both of them. Jacob came in. Again, he, he I think he took – I think it was pretty much equal, about 50-50. He had some good drives here and there. He's got to do a good job getting the ball out. You know, sometimes in practice when the quarterback's not live, you get a false sense of timing. Um, we're going to do some drills this week in game prep to make sure he understands when he needs to distribute the football. Um, Jordan came in, and you can see his movement in the pockets extremely. He's got real talent to feel and have vision of the pressure coming, be able to elude that and then make good throws. And then I like Jordan's had a great attitude. He knows that him and him and the other guys are in a competition, but nobody's lost pace of they both think they're the starter and they're both acting as such. Uh, clearly, for the second scrimmage I've seen, you guys do not mind popping pads, right? Your defense likes to hit people. Why was this good to see them go full speed? Because, I mean, you are six days away from your opening game of the season. Yeah, it's a physical game. you got to be able to, when you turn on the film, Ray Lewis said it best, you can't hide effort. You can't hide the ability and the want to to go and put your pads on somebody and physically impose your will on the opponent. And they had a good time doing it. You know, that's one thing in our culture and our program. Out, hit, out, hustle is what we live by. And some of that was on display today. Still need more. I know, you know, today, if today's a good benchmark for where you guys want to be come week one, what are some things you're really focusing on in, in the days leading up to Kansas? Yeah, make no mistake about it. We have a lot to learn and still grow. We're a young football team. We lost a lot of key starters from last year. Like I told them out there when we were breaking it down, the work is not even close to done. We're not where we want to be yet. Sure, there's been some flashes here and there, but as a consistent overall group, we have to continue to push each other and get better with some situational football, make sure we do a good job in our scripting and put them in those situations to truly operate D&D, &D, field position, all those things you got to understand in the football game. How, go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. How, how good is something like this to, you know, these, these guys have been grinding for the last few weeks here, get their families out here. Some people get to come watch them play and they really just get a true day of scrimmage. Yeah, it's great because at the end of the day, when the lights come on on Saturday, you want to have guys on your football team that embrace the atmosphere and embrace the challenge of, hey, you're the man in the arena. You know, yeah, your family, your friends are out here watching you. But what you put on tape is your product. And I think that'll be really good for us to come in tomorrow and watch the film and be able to point out, hey, great play here. Hey, it needs work here. Because again, you need the ebb and flows from both sides to, to truly get better. Wide receivers, uh, you guys had a late departure here. You have a lot of receivers that's just kind of been coming up through the program that seems to be the way you guys are going to be going this year. What do you like from the group? Yeah, we've got a deep room. The departures happen, I'm not even worried about that a bit. Um, again, you got to focus on who's here and ability to get them better and make big plays. And they caught the ball well today. They did a good job moving the sticks on third down. That was one point of emphasis that we had this week in practice was winning third downs and being able to move the sticks and maintain possession. Um, and, and they did a good job of that. I, we have plenty of talent in the wideout room, um, and they've been doing a good job getting each other better each day. Tight ends, just seeing the rotation of that, that's going to be a big thing for you guys this year. Love the tight end group. They're one of our strongest groups on the field. All of them have really good 
mental capacity to run our whole package. You know, as we sub them in and out to keep them fresh, that's a great thing because you don't you don't lose a beat once one or the other comes in because they all understand the package. They've all been here a long time and they're all really good football players. How settled in are you getting for an offensive line group right now? I think we're pretty settled, still moving some pieces here and there just to see who the most cohesive group is because we have obviously some different bodies out there right now that look different, they, they play different, they can move the line of scrimmage a little bit. Uh, I don't think that'll be solidified yet either. I think we'll still take one more week of eval and then when we put the put the roster out, those will be the starters. In defensive line, Darian Smith, just, uh, just watching him today, how excited he was, especially at the start of that second half, uh, just getting back, making these plays. Um, that seems to be his thing and what we'll see a lot of for him. And the great thing about Darian, he's going to keep getting better. He's, he hasn't been here very long, but as you can tell, he is not only a leader on the field, but he's, he's a strong voice in the huddle. He's been in big fights, and he understands what it takes to get the job done. And he's going he's gonna to be a huge part of our defense. He, he's got a high motor. He knows how to get after the quarterback, and I'm excited about him. Running backs look pretty good today, too. What would you like out of what you saw from the rushing attack? Again, really love the way we're moving the ball, ground and pound. That's what we, I think that's what we can be. You know, a lot of times we've kind of leaned on some passing and some quarterback play here, but there's nothing better than handing the ball off and going five and pop. Obviously, again, on the, on the other side of it, as the defensive side, can't allow chunk yardage, can't allow those things. But the running back group is really, really deep. You know, obviously you've got your Cartier um, and the young cat, Jab, does a really good, Jaden Bex does a really good job. Um, and then obviously Connor Lair, you know, when you see him come in, he's so versatile. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. He's got great vision he, and he's got power. He's got some real grit to him that you like. A change of pace like with all three of those guys, why is that so good to have for different schemes and different plays you want to throw out at different times of the game? Sure, it's great to be able to go in and out of personnel packages and highlight their skill set. And no understanding as a play caller, Nick does a really good job of understanding who does what best and being able to create matchups that are not good for the defense. First fall camp as a head coach, how is it? How's it been going? I enjoy every single day I came out. I mean, I, you know, some days are good, some days are bad. You walk off frustrated. But at the end of the day, and like I told the guys, you know, we, we talk about things bigger than football and being able to, your gifts got you here. A lot of guys on scholarship, even the walk-on guys, you know, you get a chance to come out and play in front of your family on a beautiful day, play the sports you love. It doesn't get much better than that.